I think coming, coming back to Newcastle now and again, um, even though it's only one city away from where I'm living now, it's still, it, it brings back the good, bad times and all the memories and all the past feelings I've had. It's good for creative reasons as well, I think, because then it obviously it stirs, stirs up the emotions and gets you thinking about things that's happened and dwell and sort of reflect on, I'd say, past life, so to speak, because I'm not living here anymore, so it's like a past life to me. Sort of brings the creativeness back, get a bit of inspiration from it. I think the emotions I get when coming back to Newcastle, um, I get a load of mixed emotions, but the sort of not emotions, so to speak. I get the good memories that I had from from the growing up in the outskirts of the city. I get sort of that sort of emotion from that, um, which makes me think about what it's like as a kid from today and a kid from. Obviously, bringing up kids now, it's a, it's a lot different to the way it used to be. And I think because I've experienced a lot emotionally and physically, um, being married at 20 as well for five years and then going through a divorce um, and, and having to deal with a, the breakup and separation between me, the wife and the, the kids and then not getting to see the kids like I wanted to do as much. I think that's helped um, a lot in the creative aspects of uh, my work as well. And obviously, my, my music's reflected on that. Not significantly um, just slightly but it's it's reflected on that um, it sort of relates to my fans as well because some fans have experienced that so obviously younger generations haven't as much but um, it sort of wrecks you in a way physically and you, you get emotionally wrecked for a while um, but coming back to Newcastle it uh, brings back a lot of them old feelings as well, which obviously stir up the creative juices, make me want to write again. Um, well, when we went to my mum's house, um, it had been about two months since I'd last seen her, because of me living in a different city. Um, it's quite hard to get up in situation with work and stuff, so it's quite bad. Um, the way she was when we left, or when I, when I moved out, it all, all gets to me too much. I mean, I was there for a year and a half um, when I moved back in and I felt obliged, like I had to stay because she was bad. Um, and she can't she can't cope on her own, I've said that all the time. She needs a carer in. But I think, I'm not a woman, so I can't deal with a caring as well as I should. I get annoyed and angry. Like in the middle of the night, she'll knock on the door and. What time, what time is it? Will you go to the shop for some cans and tabs? Middle of the night, ma'am. God, go to bed. When's the letter dated? It'll not be on the date of the letter. For fuck's sake. I don't know how long it's been there. It's not fucking dated. in hospital. I expect that it'd be in, I didn't expect that it'd be in the hospital. Um, and to be in the hospital for nearly a month before I found out, which was a big, big annoying shock. Oh, I would never change anything in my life because it's made me who I am um, and it's made me feel and want to be the way I am. So I would never change anything.
Never lose it all I was just glad to have you right